The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So as I prepare the devotional today, um, I began by researching and preparing to talk about a totally different passage. Uh, Nehemiah 1. And I want to talk about Nehemiah soon. But then I just had this desire to focus on this passage that I just read. Psalm 23. Instead. And I wanted to focus on it for a couple of reasons. Reason number one. I believe that this is one of the most beautiful and comforting chapters in the Bible. The author paints a vivid and clear picture with his words about who God is and how he loves us, right? How he interacts with us. Because instead of describing God as this really far off, distant, kind of cosmic ruler, right? Like Thanos. Think about Thanos. Um, he's just kind of all over the place, right? But he's, he's, he's only in one place at one time. Right, but what he does, just like two weeks ago when Jack did the, the devotional and he snapped his fingers, uh, what he did affected the entire universe, right? the entire galaxy. But God isn't like that. God isn't just far off in some other place doing things that affect us but not really knowing who we are. That's not how God rules, right? That's not how he reigns. No, Psalm 23 describes a loving father who knows exactly what our hearts need. And this Psalm, every time it speaks to the deepest part of my heart, the parts that long for rest and they long to know God and to be known by God. Because here's the difference right, between knowing God and knowing people. Um, God knows every part of you. God knows your past. Right? He formed you in your mother's womb, the Bible talks about. Right? He knows the hairs on your head. He knows you intimately more than anybody else does. You can know someone so well, you can grow up with somebody and know them as long as you've been alive, but you don't know them like God knows them. Right? Um, this is the God that, that we serve. This is the God that knows us and loves us. So that's reason number one why I want to talk about Psalm 23. But reason number two is because school is starting this week. And if you're anything like me, you're probably feeling a little bit nervous. Because when I was younger, I would get so stressed about school, especially about going back to school from, from summer break or from Christmas break or from a vacation that we took. Um, I would get so nervous. I don't even know why. It was just this fear. It's like this heavy weight was on my mind and on my heart. I was an anxious kid, right? Really, really anxious. And obviously this year is going to be different. And for some of us, we might be so excited to go back and just to be around people. Maybe even people we didn't even think we'd miss, right? Around teachers, around staff, right? Around the principal, right? Who knows? The janitors, which by the way, the Fairmont High School janitors are amazing. They're amazing. Ask me about them sometime. 
um, we might be really excited, but for other others of us, right, the thought of homework, tests, and just COVID might be enough to give you a headache. But no matter where you're at, I think that Psalm 23 can give you comfort. Because not only does Psalm 23 talk about still waters and about God making us lie down by in green pastures, it also talks about walking through the valley of death. And that's something that I love about the Bible. Because the Bible aligns with reality. The Bible is not just, not just giving us this picture of life that doesn't make sense when you walk out the door. It doesn't make sense when you leave youth group. It doesn't make sense when you leave church. No, it gives us a picture of life that actually matches up to the life that we live. Because the reality is that life is beautiful, but it's also terrifying. And yet through it all, the Lord, our shepherd, is leading us. He is in and through every step that we take. Okay, so that's reason number two. Like school is coming up, and I think the Psalm 23 can really speak to that, right? So I challenge you this week, and I challenge myself. Let's read Psalm 23 every day when we wake up, every day before school, right? It might be the night before, it might be the morning of. But let's read it. Let's read Psalm 23. It's, it's so short. Psalm 23 is, it's six verses. It's six verses. Very, very short, but it's powerful. And it's true. So let's read it. Let's read it every day before school this week. Right, first week of school. Remind yourself of God's goodness and his love. I don't want to hear about it. I want to be hear what, what happened when you read Psalm 23 every morning. And what did God bring to your mind throughout the day? What, what happened in your interactions with people, with friends or with teachers? Tell me about it. And I wanted to end this time by reading a prayer that God gives to Moses to pray over the Israelites in the Old Testament. And I want to pray it over you all as we enter into a new school year. So this is Numbers. Um, 24 and 20 through 26. Here's what it says. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Thanks for watching.